The Princess of Wales looked stunning as she donned an unusual tiara that had not been seen in more than eight decades at a state banquet held at Buckingham Palace. Kate joined members of the royal family including King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and around 170 guests at the glittering white tie event, part of the state visit for the President of the Republic of Korea Yoon suk yeol and First Lady Kim Kion he last month, writes The Mirror. Kate is always known for her classic style but on this occasion she wore a tiara that she had never worn before, the Strathmore Rose tiara. It was the first time the piece had been seen for nearly a century, last being worn by the Queen Mother in the 1930s. The Queen Mother was gifted the all-diamond Strathmore Rose tiara as a wedding present from her father, the Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. Kate is only the second person to wear the Strathmore Rose tiara in public after the Queen Mother. It is also the fourth tiara ever worn by the Princess of Wales, following the Kurt Ye Halo tiara, the Lotus Flower tiara, and the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara. The Princess of Wales opting to debut the Strathmore Rose demonstrated her connection to the Queen Mother, who had an incredibly special relationship with her grandson, and Kate's father-in-law, King Charles. Lauren Kiana, from the court jeweler, told People magazine, Kate has always signaled that she'd like to emulate the Queen Mother's royal role and wearing her jewels is an important symbol of that continuity. It's fitting that Kate, likely with some assistance from King Charles, would choose to wear the tiara exactly a hundred years after the Queen Mother originally received it. The tiara is unique in its own right as it comes in two frames, meaning it can be worn in two different ways, across the forehead or on the top of the head, which Kate opted to do for the banquet. She completed her look with a white down by her favorite designer Jenny Packham dress which was detailed with gold embellishments, earrings that belong to Queen Elizabeth and her honors, the Royal Family Order and her Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order Sash and Star. King Charles was famously close to his maternal grandmother, who died at the age of 101 in 2002. He was only three when his mother ascended the throne, and spent a great deal of time with the Queen Mother while his parents were on official visits and state tours. She was said to have appreciated his sensitive nature and encouraged his interest in music, art and culture.